So we've just checked in and we're staying in room 432. So as you can see, going in, we've got your electricity card, I'll show you the bathroom first. They have actually upgraded us tonight to a de deluxe room, so you've got your shower, your bath, it was a complimentary upgrade which was a nice touch. Pascal Morabito toiletries, quite a nice selection there. Plenty of towels, nice. And a lovely sort of station to get ready. With a sort of vanity mirror with a light on. And then moving out this way, you can see you've got your iron and your ironing board with some hanging space. Here you've got your coffee station with the all important fun shine biscuits and your tea, your hot chocolate coffee and things. Plenty of milks there, which is good. A full length mirror, which will come in very handy. And then moving along, we've got a lovely mirror. It's sort of padded leather with your complimentary bottle of still water, complimentary bottle of sparkling water. Don't know what's in here. Oh, We've got a hair dryer, that's handy. Quite a good space saver idea. And over here is just some sort of fold down shelf space. Thing for your cases. A nice wee kind of desk with a phone. You can phone down to reception if you need them. And then we've got our lovely bed, which is really, really nice. Looks like a king size to me. A picture, I think that's from the hot ice shows. A wee seating area, a fire, and a television with DVD. And the best bit about this room, I mean, nice we put the still there. The best bit about this room is our view. So, as you can see, it's two sort of Juliet balcony style doors. And you can see here's the big one just coming. Quizzing path. Amazing. So it's a really, really, really nice room. I think the furnishings are of a very high standard and I actually think it might even be nicer than the Boulevard, even though the Boulevard is five star. But as I say, we were obviously upgraded to a deluxe room. In the standard rooms, I don't think you get like a wee kind of sitting area or the Juliet balcony. So we're very, very happy. So this is the view from the fourth floor. As you can see, it's sort of near the beach front. And if you're coming by train, then quite good because the train station's actually very, very close by. Obviously the hotels across the road are more sort of budget hotels, I would probably say, but you can pick up a good deal. This hotel, is four star it's obviously part of the blackpool pleasure beach group and the corridors and stuff are really plush it's nice they've got like nice artwork up on the wall and stuff like that it's a big one and it's just quite luxurious it's four star but you can sometimes manage to get it for like a good price if you go onto their own website so we managed to pick up three nights with breakfast for £245 and we also got a complimentary upgrade as well because I messaged the hotel to say that it was our anniversary and that I had a small YouTube channel and so they gave us a complimentary upgrade or maybe it was just chance, I don't know. So I'll take you downstairs and I'll show you the reception areas and the bar and stuff. So this is the Blues Bar and Brasserie. It's the sort of bar that is just attached to the side of the hotel. But it's quite nice because you can obviously sit outside if it's nice and sunny. Although it's kind of strange view, it might have been better if they'd situated it better. Near to the kind of shore front. I'm sitting facing a kind of glass screen. However, this is obviously the street that the big blue's on. Never a noise of a roller coaster too far away in Blackpool. And this is obviously the front of the hotel now. So if I just walk this way, 
there are car parking spaces available but you do have to pay for it it's five pounds per night and it's quite nice because we've obviously got um, breakfast included in the package that we got so that's nice too and then I'll just take you into the, the reception area where we have black, big blue hotel founded 2003 that's obviously when it opened and as I was saying to you there are obviously budget hotels that you can stay in if you come to Blackpool it just depends what you're looking for and here is the sort of entrance obviously there's hand sanitizer stations everywhere and your reception area nice fish tank at the reception area lovely and obviously through to the bar area.